everybody. How's it going? Adam here, So was your Podcast. I'm finally going to remember for once. Please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us grow our audience. It gives us an idea of what people want to see so we can deliver. Uh, anyway, today we're going to do a So Was Your Podcast first. We are going to do an unboxing video. I got a one-tenth, st one-tenth scale Iron Studios Thor from Endgame figure. I'm very excited. I have a few of these on pre-order. I'd like to get all of the Avengers together. Could be tough. Anyway, let's see what we got. What we have here is the Thor Endgame figure from Iron Studios. Iron Studios, as far as I know, is an arm of Sideshow Collectibles who make some of the best collectible figures there are. Uh, what I like about Iron Studios is you get just about the Sideshow quality for like a third of the Sideshow price. Um, I pre-ordered this about a year ago, and it just came in today. This is actually the first Iron Studios I've added to my collection. I have a buddy with a pop culture store here in Albany, New York. Uh, J Street Video Games, if you are looking. Find them online on Facebook if you want to get stuff during the quarantine. They're still making it happen. Uh, I have a Kotobukiya Batman. I have some old Kenner figures from Star Wars. And a couple sideshows in my collection already. This is my first Iron Studios, and I have two more Endgame Iron Studios on the way. I'm hoping to get the whole Avengers team, but it's tough given the price point and the fact that you generally have to pre-order if you want to get them at all. And it's all very, very well packaged. I mean, the box it came in was three times the size of the figure. It's got a decent amount of heft to it. There is Fat Thor in his armor. Like the Sideshow collectibles, the Iron Studios come with extra stuff so you can set them up, customize however you want. Lightning feature. Lightning feature. Thor head, long haired. Hopefully the camera can capture the detail good enough for you. Closed fist. Like I said, it's customizable as you can see on the body. There's just stumps for the hand so you can put on the combination you want. Uh, for example, I have a Captain America coming where he picks up Mjolnir. If I didn't want to, if I was doing a diorama or some kind of display, I could just choose one of them to have it or the other. Stormbreaker. There we go. This one doesn't seem to have a ton of options. It's kind of just a matter of if you want him to have the hammer or not. Here's another lightning feature. Um, I think you don't get as much as you would with, say, a Sideshow collectible, but it's still plenty, and honestly, they do such a good job posing them themselves. I generally try to make it look like what's on the box anyway, because that's what I saw online to buy. Those are all the Thor pieces. There's another panel on the box. Oh, there you go, as I break it. The base definitely has some heft, which is good. My cats won't be able to knock it over. Rock feature base. I don't know, three, four pounds. It's 
So there you have it, the 110th Iron Studios Thor out of the box. The only real customization you get is the extra hand, in case you don't want him holding... I guess it would just be the hammer. For the price point, I don't think you can beat Iron Studios if you're into the slightly higher end collectibles. This was, I don't know, about a hundred bucks compared to a lot of the sideshows that, you know, 300 is affordable for sideshow. So, pieces all slot in very easily. Everything kind of just has its place. Very easily as I can't find the hole for the peg. And there he is. I went with the fist without the hammer since I have the Captain America coming hopefully later this year. I pre-ordered that last year as well. Very cool. It's a pretty decent likeness. All the uh, Endgame series figures kind of have similar backgrounds where they don't exactly interlock, but you can stage them together and it flows well enough. Pretty cool. I'm excited to get the next one. Well, thanks for watching our first ever unboxing video. Hopefully we'll end up doing more because that means I get to buy more pool stuff. Uh, please remember to subscribe to our channel, hit like, drop us a note in the comments. Uh, make sure you look up So Wizard Podcast every single week wherever you get your podcasts. So Wizard Podcast can be found at SoWizardPodcast.com for reviews, recommendations, merchandise, and more. Uh, so Wizard Podcast also has a Patreon page where for as little as a dollar a month you can support the show and get bonus content for it. There are now two bonus episodes going up every single month. And we love hearing feedback, so drop us a note in the comments or leave us something on social media. All the accounts can be found after the show. Thanks again.